Our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged us to care for girls, especially for girls, because in those times, in the majority of the world today, there's still this favoritism of boys above the girls. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, whoever cares for and looks after two girls, any two girls, so your daughters, or you foster them, any two girls who you look after, let's say girls or orphans, for example, Hatta tablugha until they reach puberty. He or she will come on the day of judgment, me and him and her together on the same plane. And he made and he did this with his fingers. We will be together. Wherever I go, you'll be there with me. The hadith is in Sahih Muslim. So if you have daughters and you raise them on the piety and righteousness and goodness and you protect them and provide for them and give them safety and you honor them Ar Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will be with you and in another hadith they will be your protection from any punishment you deserve they will be used to protect you and be forgiven one woman said Ya Rasul Allah I had one daughter who died he said if you are patient, she will be your guard on the day of judgment. Or a boy. The Prophet wasallam used to treat his daughters. He only had daughters and he had one son that died and one before. It is narrated before he became a prophet. His four daughters were Fatima, Zainab, Umm Kulthum and Ruqayya radiallahu anhum hunna ajma'een. He loved Fatima the most. Which teaches us that you must treat your children equally but you can love one more than the other. That's something you cannot control. But don't show that love in front of your children uh, or behind their backs more. So don't favor them with extra care, but you can love them more. Whenever Fatima radiallahu anha, she was the youngest, whenever she entered and the Prophet sallallahu was sitting, he would get up with a cheerful face, go up to her, kiss her on her forehead, and then he would place her in his place. He made her feel grand, amazing. And that is why when the Prophet ﷺ died, she was the only one left. His other three daughters died and he buried them all. ﷺ. He buried all his daughters and he cried for them and he went through a lot. And his daughter Fatima, she used to come in and when he was sick, he usually always got up. This time he didn't get up and she fell to the ground crying. Saying, Abi, are you going through immense pain, you? He said, yes, it's okay. There is no more pain upon your father after this day. And it's a long story. Because she knew he would get up. He would never fail to get up. That means that day he became unable to stand. Do you understand, brothers and sisters, the hanan, the, the, the compassion and the mercy that Rasulullah is showing? Even in times of firmness, he used to say to them firmly, but kindly, he would not just let them get away with him. Of course, they didn't. So, for example, Mu'adh was a teenager and he used to say to him, Afatanun anta ya Mu'adh. He used to do something that was caused a bit of trouble with people. And then his sister said to him, Are you a troublemaker, Mu'adh? Do you like making people fight? He said, No, Ya Rasulullah. I said, Then do this and do that. So Rasulullah didn't let children get away with it, but the way he did it was with compassion. My brothers and sisters, and lastly, he used to get the consent of his daughters before marriage. Every single one of his daughters were not married without their consent. And Rasul used to take them aside and make sure that his daughter truly and honestly wants this man. He married Ali radiallahu anhu, his first cousin, to his most beloved Fatima. And he married uh, two of his daughters to Uthman radiallahu anhu and Zainab radiallahu anha to a man who, were, who had converted to Islam later on. We'll come to her, inshallah, because I...